Prince Charles spoke pigeon English and was presented with a hog-tied pig during the last day of his Solomon Islands tour. The Prince of Wales, 71, delighted crowds as he dabbled in pigeon English during his speech. He took to a makeshift stage at the Lawson Thomas Stadium in Honiara, telling the audience, me happy tumas for visiting Buzbalong Ufila, or that he was happy to be visiting their country. Smatters of applause turned into cheers as the hundreds of people, including school children, caught on that the prince was not addressing them in English. Charles, who was on his first visit to the islands, was also presented with a chupu, a traditional gift including a live pig. The last day of his tour comes as he prepares to fly home to face an expected showdown with brother Prince Andrew over the Epstein scandal. The Prince of Wales delighted crowds as he dabbled in pigeon during the last day of his eight-day tour. Prince Charles, who was dressed in a light grey suit, was also welcomed by traditional dancers and pan pipes at the public ocean event at Lawson Thomas Stadium. In his speech, which he said in pigeon English, Charles said that the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh had recalled great memories while visiting the island while his son Prince William had also said the same. Charles also spoke about environmental issues in his speech, saying how the whole world had been threatened by climate change, global warming, pollution, unsustainable logging and overfishing. He also underlined the importance of preserving natural environments for future generations. The last day of the tour also saw Charles address the Solomon Islands Parliament where he spoke of the need to address violence against women and girls. Calling gender-based violence an appalling scourge, the prince told MPs, in the Solomon Islands, as elsewhere, as long as women face the despicable threat of physical and sexual violence, or discrimination on the basis of their gender, your economy and your society will simply never be able to achieve their full and extraordinary potential. A 2009 study carried out by the Pacific Community suggested that nearly two in three women aged 15 to 49 has suffered physical and or sexual violence from their partner at least once in their lifetime, and 42 percent in the last 12 months. Charles's last day in the Solomon Islands also saw him skip lunch in favor of meeting guests at a reception in a Honiara hotel and visiting the Pacific Islands Forum Fisheries Agency, an organization which works to control tuna fishing and keep it sustainable. The prince's motorcade was given a guard of honor by schoolchildren as it rolled into Honiara Airport. Experts told Mail Online that the Prince of Wales will be fuming with his brother after the bungled BBC Newsnight interview and his decision to invite his ex-wife Sarah, Duchess of York, to Buckingham Palace. While Tom Bower, author of the explosive biography of Charles, the rebel prince, told Mail Online, there's no love lost between Charles and Andrew and I'm certain they will meet. Charles will be furious that his trip to New Zealand has been completely overshadowed. The one thing Charles is determined to do is inherit the crown and he won't let anyone get in the way.